All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna remaster the guy that we once did, because I did not really like the finish of that video. But I must say thank you for the 1,000 views on that video. So first off, you want to go a little bit to the left on, and go up. And then once you did that, go down, and then you can find yourself a glitchy tree that is blue and white. It'll be flickering a lot, and then all you want to do is go through that, and it'll bring you to the flip side. So now the flip side is just gonna be like a different area for you. And then you wanna go down and then to the right. And then keep going until you find another area. Oh yeah, that glitched object there, the orange. You don't wanna go through that one because it'll just bring you back to world one. So you wanna go to the right and then down and then go to that glitched object. And now we're in world two, congratulations. So we wanna make our way to Dustin Fields. And now we are here. We wanna go back, we wanna go to where the snowman is, assuming you already know where that is. You can go up and then try not to get the frostbite of age seven. <laughs> and then you can go inside a glitched bush like earlier in world one. And then this could easily lead you to the flip side once again. You wanna go to the right and then you wanna go um, up and right again until you reach an area where you can it's safer to go and you can like oh yeah and you want to like make a correct turn go up and not down or else you'll make a, a longer destination for yourself and then uh, wait where's the glitch object that's right we have a flickering tree instead this is our new what what should i call it our new enemy well not really you want to go through it but another thing is to know that there's a lot of difference. The regular tree doesn't flicker and it's just the same color all the time. That one that we're supposed to go in, it well, we went in, it just flickers a lot and it changes colors a little bit, like gray and white, they, they change colors, spots. And you wanna go up to the right and then we'll go into the glitched object. It's a glowing orb, I'd say. And then we go up to the uh, right again and we are back inside of the orange weird glitch object. Wait, is that the glitched object up here on my mouse? Hmm. Well, we want to go through the water and try not to get caught by the human. Whoops, you. The glitched twig, how I like to call it. So what we want to do is basically like go across the waters where the um where the all of the um mushrooms are and then we'll find a path where you can't go up or down and then we'll just go across that to the left and then we'll make our way to an area we cannot reach before still work for well we want to go left a bit and then go down and then we'll hit the twigs and we'll go inside and then we're gonna hit that's right another flip side well we go right and then down you go down until you, ha you have to make a turn to the right, like shown. Keep going to the right, and then you want to go to the right instead of the left, because then, same thing as World 3 flip side, then you won't make a mistake. And then, uh, you want to find this, it's in a little bit of a hiding spot. You want to go inside that glitch tree. And we are now into the flip side, layer two. Again, we want to go through the uh, the glowing orb, and then we go down this one, and then we go to the left again, up, and then we go inside the orange glitching orb once again. Once that is done, you are now in world five, the graveyard. I like to think as like the graveyard is like a maze. That's like that's a that's what I like to think. And then what you want to do is go all the way to the right where a little bit is, and then go down. Once you find that, you can now see that you're in a dead end. Well, you're actually not. You want to go through that twig that looks like a normal twig. It's actually invisible, or like you're on the other side of it. And once you did that, you want to go inside of the mine that you and then you go. And then we can have a mini map here where you, you can see where you are. Oh, uh, yeah. It's 
editing orange is pretty easy here. I kind of went on the wrong side, but here we go. And then you want to go down to the right, and then go completely to the left, down, stop, and then go right, and then all the way until you find the glitched great zone. Go through that, and you're back in the flip side. And then you might go up, and then right, like, a lot. You want to go right until you have to go up. Well, yeah. Once we did that, we now go up, as I said. And then when we go, or oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I like to go up, but you can also go down. It's much faster. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you don't have to go up. And then you go into the little, um, glitched object tree in between the two trees at the bottom. And now you're on, in the flip side layer number dos. And now we want to go down. People get mixed up on this one a lot. So what you want to do is go down until you can go to the right. But, like, you don't go, you don't stop when there's an area. You go all the way completely there. And then you might say, oh, where is it? Well, it's the flickering tree. Sometimes it's hard to see, but I like to think that it's like a mystery. Hey, what's this? It's just part of the script. Heh. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I guess we're here. Layer three of the flip side. We're going a little deep, aren't we? <laughs> well, here we wanna go not up, because that'll be a dead end as shown. And then we actually want to go to the right all completely. And then you want to go down and left again. And then down and left all the way completely. Until you make a stop. And then you want to keep going up until uh, you reach the glitched object. You don't want to move at all or else you might mess up your path. But here we go. We are now in the layer 2. We want to go up to the left a little. And then we are now here in the glitch object and now same thing goes for layer one and there we have it we are now in world six of five nights at freddy's world beautiful balloons and coins maybe even a security level we have to beat <laughs> well that wraps it up for today's video Oh wait, I almost forgot. A little fact about FNAF World. In the original version of it, when Scott was still developing for the Halloween update, there was actually a pathway you could go by here, but you can't anymore because this is FNAF World Redacted and it's an updated version. Which means now you have to unlock it by doing everything else, which I like a lot more. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to ring the bell and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you and have a great day.